Hello and welcome back, this is ProTailDev back with another Corrupting Spring Remaster video. So this time what we're going to be working on is kind of moving into Blender, we're going to make a Thorn Vine, then we're going to move back to Unity and start working on a portal using those very vines that we created in Blender and finally we'll end just at the point where we're starting to create a new level. Okay, let's get straight into it. Okay, so like I said, in Blender what we're going to do is going to create a Thorn Vine. Uh, this vine is going to be something we're going to use a lot, so uh, f for the flower monster that we created, I want this to be one of its attack moves, it's going to be able to control it and slam it at the player. We're also going to have it in the level as a way to create bridges and different things, but the first thing I'm going to use it for when I go into Unity is I'm going to, create, use, it, I'm going to use it to create a portal. So what I'm doing here is I'm just reshaping it, we, you've seen all this before where I've used Blender, this is a really simple shape, um, it's only a vine after all and I'm just basically adding a few more edge loops and um, adding the thorns by bringing the um, ver uh, vertices out and kind of make it shaped to be more vine like. I also use the sculpting tool just to kind of make it a little bit less um, symmetrical, make it look, look more um, unique and natural. Um, after that I rig it and once I've rigged it I skin it uh, so I add the skin weights to it um, and basically control it to test it out. So there we am skinning it. I've shown all this before in the past a few times, so I'm not going to go into too much detail. Then I add a, I add uh, materials in it for the separate sections, so make it um, different parts of it, different colours, like I've done with the flower monster that I've done. Uh, so that's done, uh, and then I exported it to a unit so that I could use it. So once in unit, I've basically brought it in straight away you can see the flower monster there so it's going to kind of the colors are going to uh, be similar to that um, obviously for the sake of the story and kind of the theme uh, I clean up the scene a little bit adding some uh, an empty game object which is going to be uh, we're going to turn into a prefab later um, and bring in our mesh and our rig and then what I do is I make sure that it's all scaled correctly so different scales um, than what we initially had when I brought it in and then once it's in I move it around a little bit just to make sure it is definitely working I've already tested it in uh, Blender but it was just to make sure it's working again you gotta double check these things uh, before I start using it and once that was done I make some minor changes to some power-ups um, and remove some animation that shouldn't have been there I also realized that I'm missing the uh, hunger bar the spirit bar that we use um, for the UI must have I did must have just forgot to equip that again so once that's done, reset all of the um, positions for the transform and begin working on it. So I added a little cube which is going to be our base, I'm going to get rid of that later, that's just something to work with for the moment, where it's going to be. And add in our vines, make sure they're shaped, uh, scaled correctly and once that's done, I add in two. And this is going to make up our portal. Um, I'm also going to create an animation for them and I'm going to skip through the animation because I've shown this a few times already how to do it but basically I animate every little bit of it and all of the rig to try and create it coming out of the ground so this is two different animations you have the standard move one which is coming out of the ground and then an idle which will stay in place until the player interacts with the portal which ends this level and they move on to the next one so I, after doing the two vines animating those I then create another two vines that, which are going to be smaller and going to be at the base um, and they're going to grow out so this is just skipping ahead through the move I've animated it and then I animate the I do the, the same thing for the idle so I make an idle movement for the small vines as well so very uh, very simple very straightforward and things that I've gone over in the past um, obviously it's um, something that I've, I'll be doing a lot now is just kind of skipping through things because there's no need for you to see all this animation aspect um, I'm just make, making sure that it's clamping the animations on the edges and then putting it on auto and then when I go into the controller I set, up, set it up so that it'll move automatically to the idle and then here I am just making sure the idle is looped while the um, normal move animation isn't. Um, after that I add in some particle effects because where the portal is going to be is going to be the very centre and I want a kind of a particle effect going into it. Um, I was playing around with this uh, quite a lot because I wasn't too sure how I wanted it. I wanted to try something I haven't done, which is using these um, trails, these lines. Almost like a, a star effect where if you're going through like space really quickly. Um, like all those uh, old sci-fi effects. Um, but eventually I do delete that because I think it looks a little weird. Once 
What I do then is I also bring in the claim effect and this is this gateway is basically going to be where the claims are um, which is the final um, the final portal position it's going to have that claim circle but I do change this soon um, here we go I'm adding a little bit of a, um, a light in the center which will um, glow help the um, emission of the object below to glow more and it will make it seem like the lights coming from it which it isn't of course um, I then make sure that I've resized it, add the light in to make it glow even further, um, which is just our claim light, which um, I might actually change because I think it's a little bit overbearing later. I might just limit it down. I then create a custom texture of a portal um, and then make, turn it into a mortal after uh, it turn it into a material after bringing it in. So at this point I've decided that this claim position is actually going to be like a sphere that's going to be in the center because I don't really like there being nothing. Um, the idea was that each level will kind of reflect onto these little orbs uh, that are in the center. So here I am just adding it in. I do eventually change this portal effect though because I don't think it looks great. So I do change it. Um, here we go. I'm an now animating this very portal effect to come out along with the um, gateway with the vines. And then I'll do the same thing for the idol, I'll, I'll animate it as well for the idol, just so it's not just standard, uh, just floating there, doing nothing, so that it, it actually creates a bit of movement. Um, after that's done and animated, I then again, I, I change the material because I just don't like how, how it looks, even with the portal effect, um, I don't just don't like it very much, I might change it even more later um, when we start like adding final touches, but for now it's okay. Uh, then what I do is I get rid of the plant monster because we don't need it, it was only there for testing and I clean up a few things and delete a few things that were in this scene that was only there for testing. After that I go to the end score which is the final portal that turns up after you've uh, completed all the different sections, all the different trees have completely uh, growing um, and this pops up and there you can see the animation very briefly there um, but I'll show it a little bit more in, in a minute. Um, but what I'm doing is I'm going to each scene that we've got so far and just replacing the end um, the end score with this level uh, gateway uh, prefab which is going to be in there. Obviously we're keeping the cylinder that's in these because that has the trigger on it which allows you to run into it and end the game. So keeping that on doing is adding this in and then I can just change the gateway whenever I need. So here I am just playing it um, and I'm not going to submit you to this, uh, this hell of having to replay the whole thing again. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm just showing the uh, very end here. This is when the uh, w when the portal appears and you can end it. So I'm just ending it there, and it looks okay, but this still needs a lot of work. I feel like I want to make it more grand than this. I kind of want a staircase of vines to appear, and kind of want that to open up and then be a huge portal with, like I said, an Im kind of like an image of the next level. So here I am. Um, adding rocks in now. So that was Snow Fiend Studios, they, they have free rocks um, that allows you to kind of work on so I didn't want to create some low poly rocks, I just didn't have time so I brought that in. I created my own texture there, my own normal map for a rock texture with that's low poly and then I've brought that in and created a new material with it. I don't actually like it, I think it's a little bit too rough and kind of doesn't really fit the uh, game too much so what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to create a different type of texture still with a little bit of detail but not quite um, as much detail as what we just had then create a new um, folder for our third level set which is going to be rock based and I'm going to add a lot more detail in so now we've got we're on 3, 3A level which are all 3As and all of the level 3 and 4 are going to be based on rock and then what I do is I edit the scene, get rid of all the unnecessary aspects of it so that we have a fresh canvas with everything that we need, including all the five islands which are going to be transformed later. And then what I do is I create a, a empty game object for the cave items, which is cave straight. Um, and the idea was that, so I bring all these rocks in, I'm going to make it as if it's like a corridor. So the, the reason why I decide though to change this later on, and I'll go through it in a minute, is it, what I'm going to plan on doing is because there's just too many rocks aspect to it so the idea was to create individual aspects of a cave using rocks turn them into prefabs and then I can bring them in whenever I want the problem with this is that it will require a tremendous amount of game objects in the scene all rocks just to create one you know cavern 
and this this is just not effective and efficient way to do it so what I'm actually going to do is you can see me here just like showing you like kind of me just creating a corridor at this point though I realized that making a corridor out of just a, I say corridor a cavern out of rock just pure rocks and game objects will just be so intensive there'll be so many rocks in the scene so what I'm going to decide to do is go into blender later and create the caverns themselves and then we can fill it with rocks wherever it needs um, what I'm doing here is this was another idea was to have terrain um, and then I would have a hole in the terrain basically where it would leave into a cavern this way you might start in the level however I'm not going to go with that idea because having a terrain implies that I'll need a lot of trees that's again more game objects that need to be in the scene and I want to keep this game low um, on game objects as I've said in the past and basically I'm just going to create the caverns in blender Yep, so next time what we're going to do is be working on sections for um, the cave in Blender. This way I'll have all this freedom to make it low poly and basically create any kind of shape I want. Once I've brought that into Unit Air, we'll carry on building out the level. It should be much, much quicker than kind of just using rocks to kind of bring that together. And we'll have a basic, a basic mesh to kind of work with and uh, shape it however we'd like. It's much more efficient than what we were planning on doing, which was to add rocks in to actually build the scene. It's just way too inefficient, and there'll be too many game objects. So I think this is the best course of action. Okay, so this has been Protail Dev, and I'll see you next time.